here I am at it again. And in a previous episode, I stated that I was going to show ToneLib GFX in a digital audio workstation. Well, in this case, I'm using the Rapid Environment for audio production, engineering, and recording. We fondly call it Reaper for short. That's right. The creator of Winamp has put together a magnificent digital audio workstation for um, multiple platforms. You can run this on uh, Windows, Mac, or Linux. And let me tell you, this software is nothing short of amazing. They have an excellent business model where the software has a very generous uh, trial period, a humble uh, licensing fee for personal use, and a humble licensing fee for uh, registered users. And it packs so much more than other digital audio workstations uh, that I've had an opportunity to look at uh, in the past few months while uh, I've been away from making videos. Um, I've uh, originally thought I would show ToneLib GFX off in uh, Bitwig Studio, but in working through it f for a short time, I found that it really didn't suit my needs, so I decided to uh, try uh, ToneLib GFX in LMMS. That would crash the software every time that it would launch. Uh, so I couldn't use that. And then, of course, I loaded uh, ToneLib GFX into Ardura, but it wouldn't let me use uh, my local presets. Uh, online presets, local presets, all of this stuff uh, wasn't shown in the plugin, and there was no way that I could figure out to get my presets, meaning that I would have had to build each effect chain all over again and that's something I couldn't do because a lot of these effect chains that I have set up took me a long time uh, to build and put together so you know so that that didn't work out for me and then of course there's another really nice uh, free DAW uh, for Linux called um, Waveform. I tried that out as well from the AUR that didn't really quite suit my needs as much as this did. Uh, I tried the demo of Reaper, and after the fourth day, I anteed up the $60 for the uh, uh, personal use license because this thing do is absolutely amazing, as you're going to find out in this show here. All right, so let me sh give you a rundown of what I have set up here, and then I'm going to give you a, a demonstration that's probably going to blow some of your minds here because I have this uh, set up in one-man band mode. If I start uh, by, uh, I've unmuted, yep, okay, I don't have anything in solo or anything like that. So now, if I play a chord, you're going to hear a bunch of instruments. Let me uh, just run down through the channels here because it's hard to express some of this stuff into words. I'm still new at using this software, hey? All right, so if I go into my first track that I have here is called Guitar. All right, if I go into Effects, and you're going to see that these channels kind of match up here, uh, down here. I have the mixing board here, and then I have, have that set up here. Um, so I have two places with which to work uh, on this. So let me uh, just pull up the uh, gu regular guitar effects. And this is what gives my, you know, this is the clean guitar sound that I have here. All right, and then I have another channel here. I can solo this one. And this is the overdriven Marshall stack. And it's just at the right volume that it does not uh, that it does not drown out uh, my clean guitar sound for a nice little bit of zing in the background. Okay, and then I have just uh, ToneLib GFX running here as a VST plugin. All right, and then next 
in here. All right, I have a, a free Windows plugin called uh, Ample Base. Okay, and um, right above this, another w free Windows plugin called Blue Arp. If I turn this arpeggiator off, okay, and I play a chord, all right, you're going to have the sound of the bass playing here. I should have soloed that track. And some of you are at, might be asking, well, how is it that um, this thing is just picking up my guitar and playing the sound? Well, that is because I'm using uh, a stack of effects here to achieve this little trick. Okay, now out of the box, Reaper supports using um, their uh, plugin called Retune. And with Retune, you can, um, it will listen to the notes that you're playing and then export them out as MIDI. And then uh, these programs will intercept that MIDI signal and then you can run effects through it, like an arpeggiator, which is what I have here, the blue arpeggiator. All right. Unfortunately, though, the retune only allows you to do it with one note at a time. So I anteed up for a uh, Windows plugin called um, MIDI Guitar 2, and they have a nice demo of it, and I tried it out, and it is perfect for my needs, so I had to pick that up because it is polyphonic, meaning that it will listen to all of the notes that I strum out on a guitar and send them out uh, as MIDI signals that an arpeggiator or other uh, synthesizer plugins can use. And interestingly enough, uh, Reaper out of the box will support Linux VST plugins, Linux LV2 plugins, and Windows uh, plugins, Windows VST plugins, but you need to use a VST bridge, and that will require the use of Wine. There are two that I used. One is called Yawbridge Control. That one supports uh, drag and drop. Unfortunately for me, it didn't support all of my favorite plugins. So there is another one that I'm using called Lin VST, which uh, allows me to uh, get use out of all of my Windows plugins. It doesn't have drag and drop capability, but I really don't need it. All right. Uh, so if I turn this effect on for the blue arpeggiator, you're going to see I have a pattern set here. Okay, and uh, I've got the bass soloed here. All right, so when I play a chord here, it's going to generate a bass line based on the pattern that I selected. And when I change chords, And another neat little feature is, is that it listens to the time signature that the software is in. So at, right now at present, I'm running at 110 beats per minute, and the arpeggiator will match that speed. Okay, next, in my effects chain, we'll go to our lead synth channel here, and you're going to see I have a similar setup, all right? Uh, I still have the compressor. I have the... Uh, MIDI translator here, and then of course I have uh, the LV2 plugin Zin Add Sub Effects. Now I went on to GitHub and I downloaded the source code uh, for this project, and I had to build this in release mode. Uh, if you download the source and compile it as is, it'll build it in demo mode, and uh, that means the software will cut out and. Uh, you know, after about 10 minutes. They're looking to raise some funds 
and well, it's well worth it. Uh, so I would, you know, I think they're charging like 45 bucks for this now if you want to get this uh, pre-compiled uh, for your uh, particular OS. But you can download the source and compile this yourself if you wanted to, to avoid having to pay the uh, to pay for that. Um, the Zin uh, plugin is absolutely amazing. There are so many really good presets that come with this. I haven't been able to dig into this very deep to make some of my own presets, but I'm sure uh, in time I'll be able to find some videos and stuff. But I mean. This does everything I need just with the presets alone. And then I have another synthesizer as well for uh, my uh, background chorus. Absolutely beautiful. And then finally, in my effects chains, I have the drums. All right, and at present, I'm using Black Pearl. I love the sound of this drum set. But there's also another one that sounds equally as good. And this is also a free Windows VST plugin. And this is called uh, Empty Power Drum Kit. Let me uh, mute this one and bring this up so you guys can have a look at it. And this uh, has some really sharp sounding drums. I love that. All right. You also have a mixer with this um, where you can um, configure the sounds a little bit further, pan them, that sort of thing. And then uh, there's also a nice little groove library with this. So if I wanted to, you know, uh, just make a set of grooves, I could just drag and drop some stuff here. You know, a, a groove and then a, a groove and then a fill. These are all three bars. So by adding a fill at the end, that gives us a four bar for the four four time signature, all right? So I, I'll just grab these and then I can play this. Very nice sounding loop. Now, because I'm using Lin VST, I have no drag and drop support, so I can't just drag this and drop it onto the timeline. So there's a workaround for that. If you have an uh, MTPDK folder uh, in your C drive in your Wine directory, you can just uh, um, it'll put the temporary MIDI file. So I have a Media Explorer here. And uh, it creates a MTPTK uh, mid file. And this can be dragged and dropped into your DAW. Uh, so that's a really nice workaround because this is the only plugin that I have that would, that, would, that would require a drag and drop capability. And I just don't have that. So uh, that's a nice workaround that's available there. Um, so. All right, so let's go ahead and minimize this here, go back into the kit. And uh, so now that we've got all of these, uh, I've covered all of my little tracks here. Uh, let's hear this thing in full on live mode.
boy, oh boy, I wish I had something like this 20 years ago. I could have gone places with it. I'm telling you, this software is absolutely amazing. Well worth your time to check out if you're uh, into uh, the possibility of, uh, you know, having your own music workstation at home. Personally, I just bring this, bring this on my laptop with me to church on uh, Saturday mornings uh, when we're having Bible study, and then um, with, uh, with Reaper set up just like this, you know, I have background music for all of the songs that we do uh, during our study session. So this is amazing stuff. Uh, so in my next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a blank project, and I'm going to build up another uh, one-man band in a box thing just for you guys. I think that'll be something uh, that'll be fun that we can do. And uh, so I think I'm just going to finish with that. Just a simple little reminder, folks. A little bit of love goes a very long way. So please be sure to take some of your time and be excellent with someone today. Until next time, my friends, peace out. Mm -hmm.